Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to use Microsoft Azure Text Analytics API in Python. So the Azure Text Analytics API is one of the cloud AI services, usually mostly for text mining, sentiment analysis, key information and entity extractions, those type of stuff. And if you want to more detail regarding the uh, Text Analytics API, then you can go to Microsoft Azure uh, products page and you can probably uh, go to all the information on this page. All right, so here, uh, let me put the agenda that I'm going to cover uh, throughout this tutorial series. I'm going to break down this tutorial series into seven videos. For the first video, I'm going to cover the pricing and I'll show you how to subscribe the Text Analytics API service in Azure's portal. And lastly, we're going to install Azure Text Analytics API uh, Python client library. And after that, I'm going to basically show you different examples on how to use the service. All right, let's take a look at the pricing first. So for Azure Text Analytics pricing, every month we get the first 5,000 text records for free. So text record is basically a successful API call. I know the, uh, this terminology is a little bit confusing to some of the people. And once you use uh, all the uh, free users for the months, then Azure is going to uh, bump your tier to the standard tier. And it's going to be 1,000 text records or 1,000 API calls for a dollar for the first uh, 500,000 transactions. And after that, it's going to be 75 cents for every thousand API calls until you reach to uh, 2.5 million transactions. And beyond that, it's going to be 30 cents per 1,000 API calls up to uh, 10 million uh, API calls. And finally, you're going to reach to the, uh, the most discounted here, which is going to be 25 cents uh, for 1,000 API calls. And the features difference between the free tier and the standard tier is uh, for the standard tier, we have three additional features. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to use uh, these three features. Other than that, uh, the standard features are identical between the free tier and the standard tier. All right, so that's everything I want to cover for the pricing. Now I want to go to the second item, which is to subscribe the text analytics service in Azure's portal. So here we want to go to uh, portal.azure.com and it's going to be the home page. In the uh, search bar, I'm going to search for the service I want to subscribe. And it's going to be text analytics. And I already have a subscription subscribe. So I'm going to delete uh, this subscription. If you want to delete a service subscription, uh, you want to go to overview, then click on delete. All right, so here I'm going to start everything uh, fresh. So I'm going to click on create. And it's going to ask me, do I want to uh, add this uh, preview feature? And I'm going to skip this step. On the create page, I'm going to choose my subscription. And by default, if you only have one subscription, then uh, this is going to be pre-selected for you. Next, I'm going to choose the resource group that I want to subscribe to. And I'm going to choose uh, U2 Azure Cloud Demo Resource Group. Now select the region that is closest to you. I'm going to choose uh, Japan East. For the subscription name, I'm going to name that to text dash analytics dash demo one. And it looks like this name is already taken. Let's use uh, 111. All right, so 111 is available. For the pricing tier, I'm going to choose the free tier. And make sure that you check on this checkbox. 
Then click on Review and Create. Review the information to make sure that everything is correct. And once you confirm uh, the information is correct, then click on Create. Now the service will get deployed. And the whole process takes about one or two minutes, I assume less. Once the deployment is complete, click on Go to Resource. And that takes us to the Text and Lex Control Panel. From the Resource Management section, and I want to grab my API key and the endpoint address. All right, so here, uh, let's do this. I'm going to open my VS Code. And under my text analytics project folder, I'm going to create a new file. And I'll name the file uh, credential.py. All right, so here let's install the uh, Python library. To install Azure text analytics uh, Python client library, I will type the command pip install Azure dash AI dash text analytics and enter. Now going back to my credential.py file. So here I'm going to uh, import the libraries from Azure. Here let me increase the font size. From Azure dot core dot credentials. I want to import the Azure key credential class. And from Azure dot AI dot text analytics. I'm going to import text analytics client class. I want to create two variables API key and I'll go back to the uh, control panel and I'll grab the API key. And I'll assign the API key to the API key variable. Next, I want to create another uh, constant variable. I'll name the variable endpoint. And it's going to be uh, the endpoint address. Now I want to create a function called client. And this function is going to be used to construct the text analytics client uh, instance. Inside the function, I'm going to create my client object and from text analytics client class, I'm going to provide the endpoint and for the credential, it's going to be Azure key credential followed by the API key. And then we'll return uh, the client object. All right, so just in case if I run into any error, then I want the function to return as a noun value. And here I'll print the error message. Then I'll exit out the function. All right, so I think this is going to be everything I'm going to cover for the first video. For the next video, I'll be covering how we can use Azure Text Annex API to perform sentiment analysis and opinion mining.